Hello, Irashai Masai, and welcome to days 10, 11, and 12 of the 15th day Natsubasho, the Grand Sumo Tournament from Nagoya, Japan. My name is Sid Hall. Winning in sumo is fairly straightforward. You have to make the other Rikishi touch down outside the ring with any part of the body or inside the ring with any part of the body except for the soles of the feet. Um, the slightest touch with the fingers or toes or even the hair will lose the fight. Rikishi can lose also by infringing the rules such as punching with a fist, grabbing the hair intentionally, jabbing the eyes or other nerve spots, slapping both ears at the same time, grabbing the front vertical part of the belt, squeezing the throat, kicking the chest or stomach, bending back the fingers. And also losses can be gained uh, by having the belt fall off, refusing to start at the tachiai or disregarding the referee's instructions. So many ways of uh, winning and losing, and in sumo there's only one interest, and that's the winner. No silver medals or bronze medals. So at the start of day 10, you can see the ranks there. Akibono in the lead with nine straight wins and a clutch of wrestlers behind. Still in the race for the medals but uh, Akibono looking strong. So into our first bout of day 10, which is between Takami Sakari, newcomer, and Kotonowaka. This is Takam Takami Sakari's first Makuuchi Basho. And locks in tight there, goes for the front grip on the belt. And uh, then Murote Zashi, Morozashi, that's two hands inside. Takami Sakari, ex amateur champion. And Kotonowaka there, trying for the neck hold, but loses it. And Takami Sakari locks him behind and shoves him out with Okuridashi. So that's the eighth win for Takami Sakari, which gives him his kachikoshi. That's more wins and losses. So a very good start for this new wrestler into the Makauchi division. And fifth loss there for Kotonowaka. So let's watch that one again. Takami... Takami Sakari at 137 kilos, well outweighed by Kotonowaka. Locks in on the front of the belt, both wrestlers there holding on the front of the belt. And then eventually switches his grip, goes on the inside. There you can see that Morozashi hold, that's the two hands on the inside underneath. And then Kotonowaka starts to turn, he sees hand comes over for the head. Sign of desperation, tries a twist and another twist the other way. But eventually Takami Sakari gets behind him and pushes him out with Okuridashi. Not much the wrestler can do there when the other opponent is right behind him. Kotonowaka with a bad knee, well taped up, as you can see. So Takami Sakari from the Nichirai stable. Now on to another newcomer. Kyokuto Naho here, not so new, but fighting newcomer Ami Nishiki. He's the youngest and the lightest wrestler. He's got seven wins so far. If he wins this one, that will give him his kachikoshi, and there it is. A nice win there with Shitate Nagi, the underarm throw. And that's eight wins. And the third loss for Kyokuten Ho. You can see the mark on his forehead. Aminishki scraped it badly there yesterday. Hit the deck, and uh, it's a very abrasive surface, and that took the skin off. fight between uh, Kinkai Yama, the Devonumi stable, and Kaiho of Nichirai. There are something like six ex-Nichirai wrestlers in this top division. That's in the Makauchi division, and there's six also in the Juryo division. It's the largest group of wrestlers from the same stable. The Nichirai stable, of course, is the amateur stable. And uh, the wrestlers are scattered throughout the stable. Some say maybe they should all fight in the same stable, uh, since they've got some sort of affinity there. But um, from the Nichirai point of view, they manage to get location fees, finders fees or whatever, as they move their wrestlers around. So it's the Nichirai boss, Tanaka, who likes to put his wrestlers in different stables. So Kaiho winning there, that's his fifth win, and Kinkayama losing for his fifth time. Now, interesting bout. Now, Koto Ryu, who's uh, got a very bad knee, injured it on day one, fighting Sento Ryu. That's uh, otherwise known as Henry Armstrong Miller, the only wrestler or the first wrestler from mainland America. Son of a Japanese and uh, 
African-American, spent his first six years in Japan, and speaks fluent Japanese. Well, that was interesting there, a couple of uh, full starts. And then Koto Ryu came out too fast and then got slapped down. Had Takikomi win there by Sento Ryu to give him his sixth win and fifth loss for Koto Ryu. Koto Ryu struggling a bit. His uh, knee tense is swelling up badly, has to keep it under control, taking painkillers for it. Now, Higuno Umi of the Miho Gaseki Stable fights Tokitsumi. These two have fought six times previously. Higuno Umi's won four of them. So Higuno Umi coming out faster, gets the inside grip with his left arm, the sashi hold. It's the underarm hold at uh, Tokitsumi coming over the top and there pushes Higanoumi out with Yorikiri. So that's uh, six wins for Tokitsumi and six losses for Higanoumi. Still a chance for these wrestlers to get their Kachi Koshi. It's the majority of wins. But uh, the wrestlers fret a bit until they get to that stage. A certain amount of tension. After that, they can ease off slightly. Here, Wakanoyama fights Chio Tenzan. They've only fought once before. Very low, touchy eye start there by both wrestlers. Wakanoyama driven backwards, skids on the surface there and gets uh, shoved out by Chio Tenzan. That's eight wins for Chio Tenzan and Kachikoshi. And the fifth loss for Wakanoyama from the Musashigawa stable. There's five of them, or four of them rather, in this uh, top division and one in the Jurio division. So well behind Nichidai as far as numbers go in the top two divisions. Sashigawa Stable not doing quite so well recently. All their, all their wrestlers suffering a little bit. Well, there's Asanawaka and fighting Kyokushuzan. These two have uh, had 11 head-to-heads before. Kyokushuzan's won seven of them. And uh, Asanawaka there coming out straight. Kyokushuzan jumps to the side. No immediate advantage. Locking in tight there, briefly, under Asanawaka's both arms, the Kimedashi hold, but to lose it there, tries to pull down on the back of Asanawaka's head. And a win there for Kyokushuzan, his uh, fourth win so far, with Hataki Komi. So much needed uh, win there for the Mongolian. Hasn't been doing at all well in recent bashos. He'll be slowly and surely sliding down the ranks if he's not careful. He needs to buck his uh, ideas up a bit. Now, Takanawaka fights Tochinonada. Tochinonada considered himself the big rival of Dejima when they both came into sumo, though Dejima's moved ahead a bit of him. These two have fought twice before, each has won once. Takanawaka in his fifth basho, newcomer. But there, Tochinonada got that one. Takanawaka pushed and slid down and touching another remained in the ring and that's his second win eighth loss makikoshi already for touching another now touchy azuma who's doing well so far he's got uh, seven wins so far a win here will give him his kachikoshi takanonami with five losses now if he loses this one that will mean there's no chance of him regaining his old rank as Ozeki. Not that he's showing much evidence of having the ability to do that right now. Toji Azuma chasing him hard round the ring, not giving him a chance to re rest there. Good fast pace bout this one. And there locks him behind. And nice little uh, ballet turn there by Takanonami on the edge, but not much good. Toji Azuma wins his eighth bout. Sixth loss for Takanonami. And uh, Kachikoshi for Tachi Azuma. That's eight wins so far. His uh, previous basho, he had nine wins. The two basho before that, he had two wins. Uh, eight wins, sorry. Eight wins each time. So he's maintaining his numbers. And hopefully will do even better this basho. Tachi Nahana, otherwise known as Yachi. In the sumo world fighting Kayo. Now Kayo needs um, 11 wins to go up to Ozeki. He said 22 wins in his two previous basho, needs 33 wins. So here he's got uh, five wins so far. Uh, there's a loss, he doesn't need that one, but he can still stay in the promotion chances for Ozeki. He's got a few more bouts yet. 
as I say, needs a, needs a result. This tournament of Lebanon's is minimum. So Toshin Ohana there, newcomer in his second basho, notching up his fifth win with Oshidashi. So let's watch that one again. Kayo coming out, sidesteps, recovers a little bit. And a lot of uh, arm movements there. Each wrestler trying to move the other wrestler's arms out the way. But Toshin Ohana drives in with his head and his hands into Kayo's chest and shoves him out with Oshidashi. So fifth win there for Gachi. Two veterans here. Shio Taikai from the Kokonoe stable. Fighting here, Akinoshima from the Futogoyama stable. These two have fought eight times. Chiyo Taikai's won five of them. Chiyo Taikai with seven wins so far. Not doing too well, two losses. And there was a speedy start from Akinoshima there. Gives you an idea of the speed that these guys come out. It's one of the reasons they pick up so many injuries. They crack into each other. Have to come out fast. You can't start slow in sumo. So Chiyo Taikai there, coming out faster. And Akinoshima shoved out with Oshidashi. So there's eight wins for Chiyo Taikai. And the fifth loss for Akinoshima. 25 wins so far for Aki. And two losses for Chiyo Taikai. Chiyo Taikai in the second position behind Aki Bono in the race for the Emperor's Cup. It's about Musoyama, who's uh, had five uh, losses so far. His back's uh, giving him trouble. Fighting Tamakosuga, these two have fought uh, 14 times. Musoyama's won nine of them. They should start there by both wrestlers. Uh, Musayama being turned a bit. And there's the overarm grip from Tamakasuga. Gives him a chance for the Oate Dashinagi throw. Musayama tries the spin turn, but uh, doesn't recover from it. And Tamakasuga drives him out. So Musayama with six, seven losses now on day 10. Uh, he needs uh, at least eight wins to stay at Ozeki, so he's got problems. Let's watch that one again. So, not quite the normal power from Musoyama on the Tachi Ai. Tamakasuga, also noted for his head charge, comes out much the same speed. Turning Musoyama around in a circle, Musoyama recovers from that one a bit. Brief uh, juggling for positions there. Tries spin turn off one arm, but then uh, Tamakasuga locks in head forward to Musoyama's chest and drives him out. With Yorikiri. Climbing up the ranks now, Ozeki ranked Dejima. Fights Tosanomi. These two have fought uh, 13 times. Dejima's won 17, seven of them. Both almost exactly the same weight. Dejima, 26 years old, Tosunumi, 28. Both university examiner sumo champions. Well, Dejima gets that one. Tosunumi skids down just on the edge. So that's uh, seven losses for Tosunumi. And the seventh win for Dejima. Dejima, previous basho, had eight wins and uh, seven losses. So should do better this time than last time. Had pretty uneven uh, results as an Ozeki. Now another Nichirai wrestler coming on, Hayate Yumi, and he's fighting another ex-student champion, Miyabiyama. Well, Miyabiyama, you can see his shoulder well taped up there. He hurt it on day one. And he's uh, Hayate Yumi from Nichirai. That's the big amateur sumo stable. And Miyabiyama from Chuo University, sorry, Meiji University. So, another loss there. That's six losses from Miyabiyama, not doing at all well. Well, maybe it's his shoulder, who can say? But on his debut as an Ozeki, he is not doing at all well. And there are certain of the elders in sumo are nodding as if to say, well, I told you so. There were a certain number of votes against him being promoted to Ozeki. And six win there for Hayate Yumi. So Hayate Yumi gets the inside grip there. Sashi, there's a change of grip, a Maki Kai, but on the change, which is always a dangerous moment, Miyabi Yuma is loses it there, and Hayate Yumi follows that up 
and shoves him out. So, always a dangerous moment that when one wrestler gets the inside grip and the other wrestler tries to change that position to get his own inside grip, that's when the other wrestler can tie his arm up, trap it off, and shove him out. Now, up to the Ozeki. Uh, Masashi Maru, 230 kilos. Six wins so far, three losses, fighting Oginishki. So Masashi Maru says he needs to get his weight down to about 210 kilos. His extra weight has given him trouble on the knees. But a win there for the Yokozuna, that's uh, seven wins and three losses so far. And Oginishki gaining or notching up his fifth loss. He used to have fought previously, but it was overwhelmingly number of victories for Musashi Maru. Now here's Akibono. The last of the Yokozuna. Takahama's dropped out, of course, fighting Toki. These two have fought only twice before. Akibono's won twice. Akibono's got something like 40% body fat, but he certainly seems to have strengthened up. A few bashos ago, he was looking very wobbly with all that weight sitting on his legs. So there's the classic Akibono style, two arms out, and then a determined push with both hands. And there's another win. Akibono now clearly in the lead with 10 straight wins, seven losses for Toki, and looking very comfortable. So at the end of uh, day 10, we have Akibono in the lead with uh, 10 straight wins. Chio Taikai in second place with eight wins and two losses. And then the remaining Ozeki Miyabiyama with four wins, Dejima with seven wins. Musoyama with three wins. And a clutch of wrestlers at 8-2. Takami Misari Aminishki. Stay with us, we'll be back after the break with more sumo.